Welcome back to The Breakfast Show, the show worth waking up for. Of course, it's myself and Lisa Wong on the show to bring you the latest in what's happening around KL in Malaysia. Mm. Now, earlier on the show, we went to Sabo for a quick trip to see what's going on over there, and mm. there's lots of lovely, lovely stuff. Make sure you catch that show every Monday. And in the meantime, as promised, we're going to talk to you guys about how the digital lifestyle has become one with our normal lifestyle. Yes. So with us today to talk more about this, we have some very, very special guests for an upcoming expo. Yes, this is the Digital uh, Lifestyle Expo 2013, which is the mother of all digital fairs in Malaysia. Now we have uh, Mr. To Sui Ho, the Chief Officer uh, from the Industry Regulation Malaysia's Communication and Multimedia Commission. Uh, we also have Mr. Woon Tai Hai, Chairman of PCOM and Executive Director of KPMG, as well as Kashminda Singh, CEO of Comtech Asia. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to The Breakfast Show. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, Mr. Wu, tell us, uh, what is this fair is all about? Okay, um, actually I'm very excited about it, you know. I think most of us have heard of uh, the PCOM PC fair, which have been in existence for the last 15 years. Yes, you every know, it's year. It's a household brand. Uh, we brought all the devices, bargains, draws, cars, That's trips right. around the world, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and five years ago, we also initiated uh, the first of the F Digital Life Expo, DLE. Mm -hmm. But it was more about gadgets, you know, what's, what's available. Mm. Now this weekend on the 23rd to the 25th in KLCC, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have a bigger scope, not only just the cash and carry, we're going to have a bigger scope on the DLE, the digital lifestyle, which later on uh, SKMM, uh, Mr. Toh will talk about more about it. Mm. Why is it? Because like it or not, PC era has gone has done this, done very well for oh, us. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. There's no doubt. Mm. But we're moving towards a digital lifestyle. Mm. We need to grab that. Mm. So the, the strategic partnership with SKMM or MCMC uh, is very, very strategic, you know, in showing not the what, but the how. Mm. How, mm. okay? Now, the third component, which I just want to quickly introduce is, without this, yes. it's not going to work. Okay. I personally carry three, you know. Oh, wow. wow. It's a busy man. Yeah, busy man, yeah. <laughs> so, so the third uh, co collaboration is with uh, Compact Asia, Go Mobile. I'm sure you've heard of Go oh, yes, Mobile. Of uh -huh. So can you imagine three fairs, three integrated fairs in one, uh, in one KLCC? Oh, wow. wow. 394 booths, uh, over five halls, and we're expecting in excess of 150,000 people. Five halls? Wow. Yep. 390 booths, 394, 94. Booths, 394 yeah. booths, all in KLC. You guys are getting, this is amazing. This is all that you could possibly ask for, all stuck in one place just for your convenience so you can get exposed to the best of what's being offered in the digital lifestyle. Yes, yes. Now, we also know that, you know, um, this transcends more to just uh, d gadgets and, you know, uh, right, items. Uh, because as Malaysians now, in terms of our internet behavior, we are constantly on, you know, on social media sites like Facebook and That's Twitter. Right. Um, um, what about you know these cool apps that you have that is going to make people's lifestyle really easy? Ah. Well, actually, I like to show you this piece of uh, simple device. Okay. Which is actually it's a lifestyle thing. Eh? Okay. So sometimes when you go to see the doctor, uh -huh. the doctor says, "Have you been a good boy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> have you been doing your work activities?" So this is a device, actually a lifestyle sort of device, which okay. you can actually just stick it under your arm uh -huh. oh. the whole seven days. Uh -huh. And actually you can measure and, and track what you are doing for the whole seven days. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so the doctor don't have to ask you any more questions. And this is integrated to the application on the, the software. Yes. That's so fantastic. Yeah. So you should just go around and you track what you do. What, what kind of information will, exactly will it track? What, Sorry? what kind of information will it track? Your movement. Heartbeat? Right. Heart, yeah. Uh -huh. Skin, <laughs> temperature. I see. Yeah. Mm. And those actually tell a lot about your Absolutely. lifestyle. Yeah. Right. It's better for the doctor to give you an accurate reading on your health and how to help you to mm. live a healthier lifestyle. Yes. Right. Yes. Now, uh, Mr. Ter, we also know that you know you have several apps um, that will help people because uh, you know apps like that would track where your vegetables come from. Uh, yes. You know, or uh, even uh, uh, transfer uh, transportation mm. uh, information. Yes. So in the transportation area, for example, actually you can use RCT and the information actually can be pushed to your handphone. Okay. Uh, and for example, if we are able to track buses and trains mm -hmm. and feed those information to your, I call your handphone, uh -huh. you'll know when this bus is coming to the bus stop. 
Right. And you can actually time your walk to the bus stop. You don't I have see. to wait that long, you know. Yeah. It's all in real time. To be yeah, honest. it's real yeah. time. I love that. Right. And it's also safe. Uh, sure. Especially for women, you know, don't have to wait so long at the bus stop. Right. Very good. And, and the agriculture part? Oh, agriculture, actually, you can use nowadays ICT for precision agriculture. Okay. So you can know exactly whether the plant is healthy, you know. It can tell, talk to you. Very interesting. And then you can actually put whatever fertigation and, and make it healthy all the time. Right. Feed it continuously. Get a maximum yield. Yeah. That's amazing. I love it. I That's love it. My time, my mm. um, you know, my herb plant is dying. So that would be so that would be a really good device to yeah. have. Yeah. Right now, uh, Mr. Kashminda, yeah. uh, you know, uh, how uh, how are you kind of partnering into this sure. this peak affair? Okay, we started Go Mobile in 2008 too, mm -hmm. and basically uh, beyond just uh, the the marketing of phones and all that, we felt that it was time for people to actually understand that this is going to change your life. Right. This device that we have in our hand was going to change our life. Mm -hmm. Apps and services were coming up and they were becoming very uh, important. So we started the event mm -hmm. to publicize mainly applications and services. So by joining together, we've, we, I think we've, we've formed the ideal platform now. Right? All of us are here and then uh, with mobile being in the center, you know, all these things that we speak about and the changes that are going to be hap happening the next one or two years, mm -hmm. it's going to be focus on your mobile device. Give us an indication, right. how is this going to transform and what kind of era are we moving into? Because okay. already we're seeing so much changes. Yes, yes. Uh, just, just two quick quick points uh, uh, that, that's going to be happening uh, in the future is uh -huh. that, for example, let's just pick cars, for example, right? Uh, cars are going to become very smart, all right? Okay. And the cars are going to communicate, as uh, Tok has, has been saying in other places, going to communicate directly with your workshops and all that, not with you. Your oh, workshop will be speaking to your cars. But everything that you know and you need to know will be coming through your mobile. Right. And so I foresee the future when, when we get into a car, the car will know who you are through the mobile device that you're carrying. I see. And you will know that, okay, so this is Kashmina getting into the car and you'll probably mm. adjust the seat for me and do all the necessary things and mm. get my, my, my favorite music running. Mm. So those kind of things are going to happen in the car, it's going to happen in your house, mm. and it's going to happen anywhere you go. Mm. Now, at this show, just to highlight, uh, at this show, what mm. we are going to see are the beginnings of our own local mobile applications. Mm. Mm. Right. So uh, our partner at the show is uh, MSC Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So they've had this program running for about three years now. They're growing mobile, local mobile developers. Mm. You know that we all of us have phones, but many of us have overseas applications. Yes. And that's fine. We can mm. have our WhatsApp and our Facebook. Mm. But what about our local applications, like where to eat? Yes. Right. right. And how to find transport. Yeah, correct. All right. That's what, for example, one of the applications that will be on show at MSC Malaysia's booth will be, where's my nearest McDonald's? Uh -huh. All right, that's, that's a very simple application, but many people like it, right? right. Uh -huh. So like that, there'll be a lot of local mm -hmm. applications that you can go and check out and download because we want you to have local apps that's also, right? right? Mm -hmm. and that will support our industry, mm -hmm. is, uh, supporting the government's aim of digitalizing our life. Mm -hmm. So. There'll be lots of local apps on show now. Yeah, wow, so this is, I'm so excited. This you got, you got my goosebumps coming up. <laughs> but the good news is all these technology components are available today. Uh -huh. It's just a matter of integrating them and most importantly, if people like us assimilating it. Absolutely. Mm. I think that's where the challenge is. And then mm. yeah. providing us that core platform to be able to access all the exactly. wonderful things in general are doing. That's right. Really fantastic stuff, yeah. guys. I'm so Please sorry, but it's, it's come all to the show. Coming. We will. Yes, yeah. yes. That's so exciting. Yeah. Now, that's on, we can find out more information yes. at the Digital Lifestyle Expo 2013. Uh, <laughs> this that's is just getting me going. Definitely. Make sure you get yourselves to KLCC for the 23rd to the 25th of this month and check out the mother of all digital expos and this is where it's happening if you're looking for the next few years of technology these gentlemen we've had on the show just now are going to bring you the platform to make that happen yes it's going to all it's going to happen uh, at the kl convention center right. so that's all the time that we have for this particular interview now coming up later we're going to be talking to a drift driver about oh. his experience so don't go anywhere